somebody say Deliveroo? <laughs> um, I've just got a Deliveroo order ready for I'm a Celebrity final. I really want Tony to win now. I wanted Josie to win because um, she was amazing and I loved her in Big Brother. And then, yeah, she went last night. So I really want Tony, Tony to win or Sam. So I've got a Coke. Um, was that bag just solely dedicated to one Coca-Cola or am I, is this just an illusion? By the way, can we just touch on the fact that she's ordering takeout for a TV show, a rally, rally TV show? I mean, at this point, you don't really need an excuse to order takeout. This woman will just do it regardless. But the fact that she has to feel like she has to come up with reasons in order to buy the takeout as if she doesn't just go, guess what, guys? Takeaway night. So that means you know what it is. McDonald's again. And uh, she doesn't need it. She just, honest, I don't really care at this point. I don't know, like, I don't even know what the reality TV show she's talking about is. The only one that I watch personally is Love is Blind. And that show is actually terrible. Every season is always the same shit. People fall in love in the pods. And they're so quick to say, I love you, babe. Wow, you're just, like, so great. Oh, my God. And then they'll meet up in real life. Because I don't know why, dude. But I, there was this one, this season... This woman was literally like, yeah, it's that like, they think that like, people just say that I look like, you know, like, you know, who's that one girl that played in Transformers? And the guy was like, Megan Fox? And then she was like, oh yeah, her. Yeah, people say I look like her. And I'm just looking at this bitch and I'm like, dude, you fucking liar, bro. What are you talking about? What you mean you look like Megan Fox? Maybe if Megan Fox was hit in the face with like a shovel or something like that, you don't look like Megan Fox. And they met up. And I swear this dude was like thinking like, oh, bro, I'm about to get a baddie. And then the, the doors opened, right? And then she comes out. He went, I would too. Oh, you told me you look like Megan Fox. The whole relationship is over. The whole relationship is over. You lied to me. But I don't watch, I don't watch reality TV shit because it's always so bad. Well, let me know in the comments who you want to win or if your favorite went. Now, I got... Sour cream dip. Okay, oh. starting with the dip. Oh, they fell out. Some chips, which Mackays. have felt. I've got Mackays. Then I got, so I got double quarter pound meal. Double mm -hmm. quarter pounder. I'll give it, I'll give it, you know, I'll, I'll keep it a buck. The double QP, not too bad. I would, you know, for me personally, a double QP, kind of crazy. Kind of crazy, bro. You literally adding in an extra two, 300 calories on there because the patties are expensively calorie inclined. And, uh, but I will say the QPs are better than almost anything on the menu. I don't know why some people go in there buying the McNuggets. Some people buying the Big Macs. I don't be fucking with them. To be honest, I only really fuck with the QPs. Um, maybe if there was a deal, if there was some kind of like special specialty going on at the time, like two for four or a two for five or something like that, you might see me sucking on a McChicken or two or something like that. But usually you're not seeing me going in there. For anything, I mean, I got a coffee right here from Mickey D's because I get my daily coffee from Mickey D's. People tell me I'm addicted to McDonald's coffee, but I promise I'm not. I just am addicted to the caffeine. You know what I'm talking about? Well, I guess that's kind of like the same thing. That's like somebody saying like, bro, you addicted to dick. And then I go, no, nah, bro, I'm not addicted to dick. I'm just addicted to man semen. It's basically the same thing, right? I mean, you know, same fucking shit, right? I'm not saying I'm addicted to man semen. I'm just saying that's like a good comparison, I feel like. Love a good double quarter pounder. A double... Dude, they call, why do they call it a double quarter pounder in the UK? That's weird, man. Um, I thought it was a royal cheese. You know, treat yourself to some... What you mean, treat yourself? Becky, I don't know why Becky always does this shit where she goes... Well, you know, I might as well treat myself. What do you mean, treat yourself? You're literally... You you only bought this shit because you're watching reality TV. What the fuck are you rewarding yourself for? Watching reality TV, sitting down for hours, binging the same show, and watching somebody's fake life transpire while you sit down and body slam a 20 piece and a double quarter pounder? I guess, Becky, I guess. I mean, just tell me the truth here. It's not a reward, it's not. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. What this actually is, is you just body slamming food, dude. And you know what's crazy too, is a double quarter pounder with cheese is like, Seven, eight hundred calories, and a twenty piece, I believe, is a thousand calories. So this, like, alone is seventeen hundred alone, and then she's got the fries with it too, five hundred on top of that. That's got to be at least twenty three, twenty four hundred calories right there. She got the drink. I don't know what the fuck that is. I know she's deep frying that shit all over her mouth. She's a hundred percent feeding her mouth with that sauce. There's no other way to say it than that. So in total, twenty five hundred just for this meal, just for this meal, just for this meal, because I am so. 
Dude, I have like read the Rosetta Stone on the McDonald's menu. I know that shit through and through. You would think I was a fat bitch with the amount of points. Listen, okay. I don't want to be, I don't want to, I don't want to claim that I'm like cool or anything like that. But I do have 20,000 points on the McDonald's app right now. And you guys can see it right there. Ready for it? 20,000 points. 20,000 of them things, dude. And I'm not afraid. I'm not ashamed to admit it, dude. I'm just not. I don't really order anything from McDonald's besides the coffees. And they add up. They add up. And you can get free coffees on the app. Maybe I should start doing that. But the point I'm making is I know about this shit, okay? This is like literally 2,500 calories of just Mickey D's right here. And she does it daily, bro. I'm sick of looking at her shit every single day. And seeing this woman go from Mickey D's to BK, going over to KFC, and then topping it off with pancakes that are coated with Nutella. No maple syrup to be found. I'm just sick of this girl coming up with reasons to eat the disgusting slop food and then going right now. Like, I mean, you're, you're literally celebrating what? Nothing, dude. Like, reality TV. And then going, you deserve it. What do you deserve it for? What are you talking? You ate the same shit yesterday. Okay, whatever, bro. Double quarter pound back. And, you know. I like the outfit, though. It's a nice stripe. I like the stripes. Treat myself to some chicken selects as well. My bad. It's not a 20 piece. It looked like a 20 no, piece. Because I was going to get cheese dippers and I thought, do you know what? No, I feel like some chicken, but I feel like a burger as well. I think since they were saying it on oh, I'm a Celebrity the other night. I okay, not 2,500, but more close to like 17, 1,800 calories. Do you know what? I'm getting it. So I'm, True. we're going to go upstairs to eat this now um, and get ready for the I'm a Celebrity final. But yeah, let's go and eat it. So I love a double quarter pounder. I know it's like just a classic. Does anybody watch to the end of these? Like, I know we're weird and we're watching it to the end, but do you think anybody's actually watching these to the end just to see what Becky thinks about a double quarter pounder with cheese? Sick, and you've seen me eat this loads of times, but just wanted to show you what I had from the day. Shit is big mm. as fuck. I was going to get slim chickens. Is that a full fat? But they took it off to live room. So, um, chips. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting that she doesn't actually go out and get the food. She literally just has it delivered, which I know a lot of people nowadays do get their food delivered because it's very convenient and it's expendable. I mean, it, it's expedient and stuff like that. And I guess it's only a little bit extra money. I mean, you're never going to see me order Uber Eats because I just don't have the bread for that, to be honest. Like, that's crazy as fuck. I have the Uber app because if I'm ever stranded somewhere, I can order an Uber, sure. And, uh, you know, taxis are okay, but bed bugs and, you know, sometimes the guy behind the counter, he'll just, be, I don't look. I don't know about you guys, dude, but here where I live, if you get into a taxi, okay? I live in Massachusetts. If you get into a taxi, nine times out of ten, that taxi driver is going to be a Haitian guy, okay? I've I've had some times where I got picked up by a white dude, but that's very few and far between. It's almost always Haitian dudes, right? And they're always screaming on the phone to their wives. Like, you get in, and you go like, oh, yeah, I'm going over here, and all, the, all you hear is, eh, I, was, I was going to tell you last night, but you, you lied to me. You sit there and you try to tell me the truth. You, 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 are liar, liar. Oh, you, wait, where you going? Where you going, my friend? Where you go? Shut up, shut up, woman. Shut up, woman. Where are you going, sir? Where are you going? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I, I know what that is. I know what that is. That's all it is, okay? I hear that so often. I don't know why all these Haitian dudes sound like they've been screaming all day, like their throats are just flying out of their mouth, but I hear that consistently all the time. I don't know about you guys. I don't know. But that's what, it's, that's what it's over here. I've taken a lot of taxis in my life, dude. But um, Uber Eats, no go for me, dude. And they, be, they, they really do be tempting me sometimes, dude. I get the emails like, yo, bro. Yo, bro, we giving you $30. $30 right now. We'll give you $30 for select items. All you got to do is just confirm it. We'll give you the $30. And then you click on that. And then you realize that the order is going to be like $50. And you're like, yeah, suck me off, bro. I ain't fucking doing that shit, bro. Fuck you. I ain't doing that shit. Don't feed into it. No pun intended. I know people are going to be like, oh my God, you basically got two meals. True. I didn't. I got some chicken slacks. That's two meals, dude. Okay, let's be honest here for a second, okay? The QP, the fries, and a drink is a meal, okay? And then if you want to say the, 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 the whatever these things are, the chicken selects or whatever they are, that's also a meal because you're adding in whatever, bro. And a double, a double pork pounder with chips. And you know what? If I went mucky, sometimes I get nuggets extra. So yeah. Damn. Keeping it a buck with us, I guess. It's nearly Christmas. <laughs> love you all. Love her too. I love her. She's so great. Happy bloody Sunday. Hi, everyone. So at, at this point, yes, I do know what the comments will be. 
Why should I have to hide if I have a takeaway twice in a row? Yes, I am bigger. I am a bigger girl, but it's my life and I do not eat like this 24 seven. Although if I did, who, who has the right to comment on it? Me? Me? The people in your comments? Literally everybody? Like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Do you think that people shouldn't be able to comment on this shit? The fuck are you talking about, dude? That's like, that's like somebody going like, oh, yes, of course I do drugs. Yeah, I do it all the time. I do like heroin and I do methamphetamines and it's like, it's so amazing. But let me tell you something right now. My mom, she always tells me that it's something bad. It's always bad. But you know what? Fuck her. She should never have it. She should never tell me. Who is she? Who is she? Who are the people that really care about me? What? Who, who can comment on that? That's what I'm hearing from you. Do you really believe that? Why do you? Why do you have your comments on that? That's it's such a dumb point to sit there and say like, oh yeah, like who should have the who should who should have the ability to comment on this shit? Literally everybody. You have your comments on. People are gonna have opinions. If you have the if you have the ability to make these videos and people are gonna form their opinions on it because it's a public post. This is such a terrible way of doing this, Becky. You can eat whatever you want. You can. Two takeaways in a row though in a day. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy, dude. You be going hard, way too hard, bro. And if you want to eat like this, you can. But don't sit there. The fact, you know, I really love Becky. And that every time she makes one of these videos, she has to put a disclaimer. Like, <laughs> she has to put like a beware. Yeah. In case of everyone's wondering, I don't do this very often. And if I do, ooh, so what? I, I So what if I do this more than once a day? And yes, I did do it today one more than once a day. But I don't usually do it more than once a day. But today is an oddity. And even if you think that it's a problem, guess what? I don't care because no one should have the ability to comment on my life because it's my life. That's what I'm hearing from you, Becky. And that's dumb. That's stupid, dude. That's stupid. Tonight I have got a takeaway. Now, I know that I did have a takeaway last night and a lot of people think, you know, that you can't have two takeaways in a night because I'm a bigger person. You can have two takeaways in a night, but it's just kind of crazy, dude. Like, it's a lot of food, bro, that you body slam. And do you not have a kitchen? Do you not have, like, a working kitchen, like an oven or, like, uh... I don't even know. Like, do you not have anything back there? Like, a, a, an air fryer even? Like, why do you always go out of your way to make the food the worst possible food ever? And you know it's wrong, too, because you're bringing this up as a point. Like, oh, yeah, I know it's I know it's a big deal. Like, yeah, it's a fucking big deal when you eat out once up. One time already is a big deal. But I got one. I didn't go to the pantomime today because my voice is gone. Um, and I just felt really hot and stuff. Okay, before, Coca -Cola. So I didn't want to just make myself pour coca-cola so i've got an indian so i've got a coke and <laughs> i got just a normal poppadom okay. this place i've ordered from i haven't ordered from before but they do like spiced poppadoms i've never seen before so it's just a meal for one tonight um, for one because my mom i got a chapati yeah, I, I feel like Becky's idea of meal for one is so skewed at this point because it's like doing drugs for a very long time. Hear me out. When you do drugs for a really long time, you build up a tolerance, right? Like, for instance, you know, Snoop Dogg, right? Snoop Dogg has done a lot of marijuana in his life. He'll even tell you that. He's built up such a tolerance to, to such – he's built up such a tolerance to, to where he has it right now, right? To where the, the weed that he would smoke today – would probably melt your brain in like nine different ways like you would probably wake up like stephen hawkins for like the next four months because of the weed that you smoke but for him it's normal because he smoked so much of it for becky it's the same thing like she's been eating so many indian takeaways that at the point that she's at right now her ability to feed her own mouth has become so diluted with the amount of takeaway and the amount of absolute quantity of food that she consumes in a day it's it's just been tainted. It's 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 beyond it's beyond like your understanding of what food intake would be. I mean, look at the serving sizes of this girl's plates. Like they're massive. They're like three times the size of her head, and her head is already pretty big. And then I went mouth is watering already. I went for garlic butter chicken. It's like chicken tikka and garlic butter sauce, and it was really good. I put that there. Oh, and I got rice as well. Gotta get the rice. Damn, look at the bowls, dude. It's big as fuck. Yeah, so it was a pantomime in New Brighton that all my family have gone to. I'm a little bit gutted, but I was feeling really, really rough um, today. 
So damn, damn, the whole, thing? the whole thing, the whole thing. Silly as it sounds, New Brighton is like near the breach. Obviously, yeah, that beach, you, so. that's a crazy, that's such such a crazy amount of rice, dude. For one person, what is that like? Two cups, like two full cups of rice and seasoning in it. That's a crazy amount of rice, bro. For well, that's a lot of rice. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? You know, I love Becky. I love it because she knows it's not socially acceptable to do what she's doing. And she, like, gazes down at the rice, which is literally covering the entire bowl. Like, an inch of a bowl, literally. And she looks at that and goes, like, oh, it is a bit of rice. It is a lot. Yeah, no fucking shit. It's literally, like, the whole entire bowl is being, like, suffered. Just smothered in this shit. Um, I thought, you know what? It's but you don't care. It's worth, like, risking it. Like being really poorly in the week, so oh, it smells amazing. Oh, look at that, guys. It's, it's, I don't know, I don't so know what it's that garlic, is. Garlic butter, butter chicken with chicken tikka pieces. Like, you can damn, see, the whole thing, huh? Pieces. We're just gonna pour out the whole thing. This place, but it just looked really This is a meal for one. Are we sure? One what? One hundred? Like how many people can we eat with this, bro? That rice alone is like three people's worth of rice. And then this, what is this like chicken matiki sala or whatever this is? Dude, it's so much food. Just for her? God damn, Becky? This is not sustainable, man. It's a, God damn, that's a lot of fucking food. Really good. I don't, you know, I really don't care that it's really good. Like there are a lot of things that are really good. Like crack! Like crack, methamphetamine, like a lot of things. Like people love it, right? But I just think it's so interesting that Becky has this way of like trying to explain it. Like, oh, it's so good. Therefore, if I eat it, you know, it's going to be even better. But no, it's not the same, Becky. You can't just be – like you're eating three, four times the amount of food that a normal person should eat. And you're just going about it so casually. Your serving sizes are ridiculous. So I've got that. So um, reuse that as well. So let's go and talk in. Okay, so let's um, try it out. That shit better be the... Ooh, that's so different. What do you mean? Didn't you say you had it before? How many times does this girl have an Indian? How many times? Like, literally once a week at least at minimum, dude? Maybe even twice a week at this point? This is not... Okay, whatever, dude. Becky just be gaslighting. I swear to God, bro. She, be, she really... She real deal makes us think that we're the ones that are, like, the weird ones. For thinking how she eats, bro. And she just does a show. But she has to know it's wrong. Mm. Also, I'm not poorly because I went out last night. I felt like a little bit rough yesterday, Dad. Yeah, you know what? She has this, like, way. Oh, man, I see a lot of people having the same problem. Like, they have to find a way to qualify the food. So they'll come up with just bullshit. Like, oh, yeah, I felt bad the night before. So I had to body slam this. I see this a lot when people drink a lot of alcohol. And they go, oh. Oh my god, I had so much alcohol last night. It was insane. I literally diluted myself with insane amounts of alcohol. So, in order to or to remedy it, I need to go and get a Mackey's. Or, you know, I just need to go ahead and go to a buffet to just remedy my hangover. I guess for Becky, it's like... I guess for Becky, it's more like... You know, I just really wasn't feeling too good last night. And because of that, I had to go and I had to get an Indian today. Even though last night I had an Indian last night too as well. But, you know, I just didn't feel that good last night. Even though I feel pretty good all day. I feel pretty good all day today. But I just got to get it. I just got to get it today. That's what I hear from her. It's too often. Too often she eats. So I think it has been coming. Mmm. I'm really enjoying that. Whatever, dude. Taste. Whatever, man. Whatever. Try some of the chicken tikka. What What were you trying before? Mmm. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. The sauce is honestly amazing, guys. Whatever, dude. Whatever. I don't care how... Like, I want to know how much this, this plate was, dude. I want to know how much that shit was, dude. You guys ever eat out? Shit is expensive. That shit, you're literally looking at $20 minimum purchase on a lot of shit, dude. And Becky over here talking about some, oh, yeah, this is just for one person. This shit be big as hell. That shit is obviously not for one person. I think that shit was meant for at least three or four people. And you're over here body slamming that. I wouldn't even be surprised if this was like 40 bills or more. Because, like, the amount of food that's on that plate is insane. There's no way that shit is less than 40, right? Am I, am I lying? I don't know, bro, but that shit seems like a lot of money.
I I would really love to see Becky's bank statements, dude. I need to see that shit every month. Well, I hope you've all had. Man, she chews so quickly too, bro. She she's she's got a down pack at this point, right? She's been eating for so long, so many times that. At the point that she's at right now, it's almost like the mouth is just deteriorating the food while it's in there. Weekend and the environment's got to be crazy. Bye, guys. Bye. All the food you see in this video was consumed in one day between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my What I Ate at Dancing. So, okay. as you know, I take Paige and Portia to Dancing on a Sunday. Okay, bro. First of all, when somebody says What I Ate at Dancing... I, I'm thinking that they're the ones that are dancing. Am I wrong? That's like somebody going like, oh, yeah, dude, I went to baseball practice. And I'm going, oh, yeah, dude, that's really cool. And they go, yeah, my mom's baseball practice. What? What are you talking about? No, bro, that's not, that's not, no. If you go, I'm going to, I'm going to dancing, I'm thinking you're dancing. I'm thinking you're moving your body. I'm thinking that you're doing stuff. Not, it's your cousin's dance session. I don't know why. I mean, I know why she says it, but it's just like, it's dumb. It's a dumb way of saying that shit, dude. No. And I... And this was the food. The way that she had to bite into that shit was serious, dude. Like she was cracking a fucking nut in her mouth or something. As you know, I take Paige and Portia to dancing on a Sunday. And dude, Paige and Portia is crazy as fuck, dude. Somebody told me that's not a dog. That's not a dog. It's like somebody else's somebody else's fucking name. Look at look. Paige is okay. Paige is fine for a girl. I don't have a problem with Paige. Portia. That's crazy, bro. That's a crazy ass name. I, okay, look. I'm sure she's a nice girl. I, do you know how many Porsches I've met in my life that weren't that were not strippers or prostitutes? I met a lot. Okay, literally, if you go on GTA Five right now and you go to the strip club, there is literally a stripper named Porsche. So it's like I get it. You know, I understand. You think it's a nice name, but dude, there are certain names that are just not eligible for certain people. You get what I'm talking about? Like I knew a dude named John Corn, and they used to make fun of him a lot. Like that was a common thing. I knew a dude named Cletus. I don't know why. He wasn't even from the South, dude. I'm from Massachusetts. Dude's name was Cletus. Some names are just not it. Kiki, what are you doing? What is that? How did you do that? Tyshonda? What the fuck? What the hell is that? Why did you name your daughter that shit? Tyshonda? What the fuck? I'm, and you guys might be thinking, David, these names are not real. Yeah, the fuck they are, dude. I swear, if you look through my, like... If you look through all of the people that I knew in high school and growing up, dude, they had the worst names I've ever seen in my life, bro. Oh, this shit was so bad, dude. Tyreek? What is that? Tyreek? I don't know, man. Whatever, dude. People are going to think I'm racially motivated. There are bad white people named, too, of course. And you know what? I knew a dude named Jamal, and he wasn't even black. He was white. <laughs> I don't even know how that fucking that happened, dude. Like, out of all the names, Jamal? What do you think of when you think of Jamal? All right, I'm not racist, okay? You're racist. And this was the food that I ate there. So I'd already had my breakfast in the morning. Like I said, this is strictly Just what Just a big-ass, like, homemade Hot Pocket, basically. at Dancing. So I started off strong with some dairy milk clusters. Yo. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Sometimes I see people in the back of videos, and I just, I just kind of, like, try to put personalities on them, you know? Oh, my God. What is Becky doing? I cannot believe she's still eating that. Needed a bit of chocolate. What you then mean? I had my egg. What you mean you needed a little bit of chocolate? What you talking about? It's like somebody saying, I just needed a little bit of crack. <laughs> just a little bit of meth. Mayo sandwich. I think this was around half 11. God damn. Bro, Becky, bro. That's two, that's two cookies right there. That's two fucking cookies, man. What are these in, the, in your cookies, bro? Is this like the teeth of all your victims? What are you... From the then Indians? Then I went in with one of my cookies someone tried to snatch you know you couldn't get that shit away <laughs> also from made sure i had plenty of drinks because my mouth was so dry yeah there's pain and you couldn't even get water huh gotta have something with calories in it gotta have something with a little bit of extra flavor fuck the water <laughs> these cartons were so nice aren't these the ones that you have to like put a straw into am i wrong can you just pop these mango and passion fruit then i had my chicken goujons with a garlic okay. and herb dip I love these cold Dude, How long are you at the fucking dance, bro? Can somebody let me know how long you're at the dance for? It's got to be, what, two, three hours? Am I wrong? Uh, what are you at the fucking the dance all day? Eight, nine, ten hours? Am I wrong? You're not at the dance for ten hours. That's a crazy-ass thing. No way you're at a fucking dance for ten fucking hours, dude. Guys, I'm pointing it out. Oh, what a fucking shot, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let me stop. But uh, I, I, there's no way she's, like, what, maybe four hours max? 
four hours, right? Got to be four hours here. You have to dance for four hours, and you've already managed to body slam what, more than what I've eaten in today. So let's just let that sink in for a second. On a Sunday, it was so tasty. Then Why does Becky eat and go, oh my God, I can't believe, I hope nobody sees me. Becky, you literally have like 50 million hours worth of content on your TikTok of you just body washing thousands of calories without even questioning it, dude. And you think that covering your mouth is going to do anything? Anybody at the fuck? Where do people get their, like, their priorities from, right? Like, I just don't understand how somebody can do that shit. It's like, I know guys, right? And you ask these dudes, hey, man, if your girlfriend was pregnant and she was like, yo, baby, come over here and breastfeed my shit. You want to taste some of this breast milk? I know these dudes would go, I've talked to these dudes about it. They go, nah, dude, I would never do that. That's gross. That's nasty. That's fucking diabolical. I would never do that, right? And then I asked them. Didn't you eat? Uh, didn't you eat your girlfriend's ass like three days ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. That shit's great, bro. My girl got the cheeks. That shit's crazy. And I'm just thinking, like, dude, what are your priorities, right? Like, what are you talking about, man? How do you do that, but you don't do that? Breast milk is way lower on the scale than eating butt cheeks. Am I? Am I? Am I incorrect? I mean, I granted it's woman butt cheeks, so they're a little. They're probably a little bit more domesticated compared compared to men's, but still. It's not, you know, it's butt cheeks regardless, right? You're putting your, I know that like nowadays, you know, that bow, 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 that's that booty meat shit songs are out nowadays and people love singing about, you know, shaking ass and eating butt cheeks and shit like that. You know, you're going to eat me like a mango, whatever the fuck, dude. I get it. But still, like that shit's not, that's a new thing. Like if you go back through time and you ask like an, a king and you go like, hey man, um, how do you feel about... How you feel about all these people in your kingdom eating butt cheeks? I'd be like, what? Butt cheeks in my kingdom? Kill them all. Or sacrifice them all. You know what I'm talking about? It's new. Um, luckily, Joe Biden would never do something like that. But you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's crazy. I had some of the Jaffa cake. Some by 10. She mean 10. She mean the full 10. These are what we just put in the bag for everybody. So I had That's a fucking lie, dude. Nah, it ain't for everybody, dude. She body slammed that bag. Easy. Easy body. Two or three of these. Can't remember the exact amount. <laughs> then I went in with. Man, you know what's crazy too is that if she had two and there were ten in the bag, right? That means she ate one fifth of them. She ate one fifth just by herself. And if you're gonna eat one fifth by yourself, you might as well eat half. And if you're gonna eat half, you might as well eat the box. Fuck it. You you know what I'm talking about? Just fucking eat those shits. Nobody gives a fuck. It's just for you. Don't lie. Who's even? Whatever, bro. I walkers. These Dude, just... this woman real deal be... Where are you even pulling this food from? How, what, what, where is your storage container where you have all this food, bro? How long are you here? How long are you at this fucking dance where you're just pulling out food? Am I... Dude, this is crazy to me, dude. Where, why does she have all this food? What, does she have like a convenience store in her back pocket? Spare in the bag as well. And I had my can, little tiny can of apple tizer. Which was so tasty. Well, you know, keep in mind, all she's doing is just sitting down and looking at somebody move. I don't know who I was staring at them, but it looked like I was giving them a dirty look, but <laughs> I think it was Paige being silly. You can't drink, like, water. There's, like, no water in your diet, man. Hi, everyone. So tonight I've made a... I would really love to know how long she was at that fucking dance for, dude. Chicken, potato, and carrot pie. She's big as um, fuck. I love making pies, so let's dish it out together. Just put it on big here. Big as fuck. It was so... It was so strange tonight oh. cooking. Um, Damn, these fucking bowls, man. Becky got to get better bowls, bro. I, I promise you, this is, like, one of the reasons why she's so goddamn big is that she has these bowls that are, like, three times the size of normal plates, dude. And they're, they're not only that, they're like cup shaped. So that way it's like, if it goes over, she could stack it. You know what I'm talking about? Like a regular plate kind of has like an indent to it, like a Frisbee almost. Like it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like a gradual out, like a triangle, right? These are literal like bowls. So they go out really far and they come up really far. So that means she could stack up. Like she can put a lot of food on top as well. So she's expanding horizontally and vertically. Um... Because usually I have to, like, open, close the back door. What the fuck are you talking um, about? Yes. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about it. Um, so I've got some potatoes Why? and some broccoli okay. as well. Let's cut the pie. That's a pie? Yeah, sorry, guys. I do need to get a 
Tripod, right. I never know how to do this. What? Eat? Becky, hold up, Becky, hold up. I gotta talk real quick. We got to... You're kind of going a little bit far on the side here. I don't know exactly how much this is. Are you just planning on eating a third of it? Like, that's a lot of food, Becky. A third? You planning on eating a third and those potatoes? Sound like your boyfriend when he don't got that lotion, right? Sound, sound like your boyfriend when he don't got that lotion. Hold up, listen to that real quick. Listen, close your eyes. This is when you do, when this is when it's dry. Ready? I know this probably is the worst spoon ever to use. She has utensils, man. God damn. How is everybody? How's your Friday going? Any weekend plans? What's your weekend plans, Becky? Body slamming the rest of this shit? I mean, she didn't do. She didn't go a third, but might as well be a third, right? Am I wrong? It might as well be a third. All right, let's just get the crust off. Ooh. Damn. That looks nice. Got some of the filling. Just put next to it there. See, so, yeah, I just felt like this tonight. I always love making a pie. Put a little, put a little love heart as well on it. Um, right, that's fine that, and then I'm just going to get the broccoli. Well, at least there's some greens in it. Broccoli is okay. I like broccoli. Let's see. Got broccoli as Damn, well. bro. That shit's big as fuck, though, bro. I got to keep it a buck. That's not a normal. That's not a normal serving size, man. There's way too much food on this plate. This is what I'm talking about. Like, look, look how deep these bowls go. These things are so massive, and I feel like she doesn't register that it's a lot of food. And so, what she does is, like, she just tries to fill it up as much as she possibly can. Veg, but it has got carrots inside as well. And just some extra baby potato. Damn, so just a solid baked, baked potato. potato. Wow, Ooh, Becky got to calm down. Just way too much food food on this plate bro look at the amount what is this plate for oh that's probably where she got the potatoes four five five potatoes a whole chicken pot pie that was the size of like five of them and some broccoli which i'll give her but guys i cannot wait to talk into that it looks so tasty it's all right right let's taste it kids get far don't they just a fork Mm. Oh, guys, if you want like a really easy, nice pie recipe, watch the recipe video for this because it's honestly so tasty. I don't care, Becky. I don't care. Mm. Well, I hope you're all having a great Friday and enjoy your weekend. Bye. Thank you, Becky. Bye. Thank you. If you don't want to see a fat girl enjoy. <laughs> Starting the day eating some cocoa pebbles is kind of crazy, dude. Has any? When was the last time you guys have have you? Have you have you even eaten cocoa pebbles i'm gonna keep it a buck with you i don't think i've ever eaten this shit before in my entire life but i'm not surprised that becky still eats it and the problem like cereal is like not the worst but it's also not the best either because especially if you're going for these like children's cereals children's cereals that are literally marketed towards kids they are extremely high in calories dude but then again a lot of kids they do burn it off like they're running around all day maybe your kid has adhd or some shit like that that's that's happening and then also think about all the childhood obesity nowadays there's a lot of it right and, and make no mistake about it it's also because they eat these high ass calorie fucking foods bro and this bowl by the way boy get as fuck becky real deal just be her serving sizes are through the roof enjoy a cycle box a mcdonald's and a few other treats don't what you mean mcdonald's how you gonna be telling me about your mcdonald's and then i'm literally looking at your cocoa pebbles watch this video <laughs> hi everyone and welcome that to my what are you in a day deep. so for my breakfast i had some of the timbit cereal okay it's honestly so delicious then i had a bit of a mix for my dinner i had an egg mayo cheese dinner roll dairy lee dunkers some flaming hot cheetos and a cookie Okay. For some reason, I've just been craving egg mayo. So it. I've never heard of egg mayo, dude. What? That's like gingerbreadic noodles. It's like it sounds like two words that should never be together. Definitely hit that spot and the Costco cookies. You just what cook. spot is it hitting, dude? The diabetes, man. The blood pressure. Like what? Do you, what spot is it hitting, dude? I'll eat them. Then I made a snackle bar. Dude, Becky got to calm down, dude. What the fuck? Oh, popcorn, gummy worms, cookies chips i'm guessing chocolate cookies pretzels 
those marshmallow thingies, and then I'm guessing gumballs of some kind, or maybe like jelly beans, dude. What are you, Becky? Come on, bro. Damn, Becky. This this not a good shot for you. This not a good shot for you, Becky. You're gonna need to do something about this. This is kind of crazy. Honestly, these are so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So these are M and M's, Bobby. So good for picnics or anything. What are you talking about, dude? If you're going on a picnic, right? Make a meal and then have it with you. I know you. I know this looks cute and it looks like, oh wow, look look at all the food I made for myself. All of it's just snack food and then like also more than half of it's just candy, right? Look about this, right? There's eight right here. Candy, 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 candy. I know I count cookies as candy. I do. I don't care what anybody says. It's basically candy, right? So more than half of this is candy. And then the rest is literally just bottomless calories. So, I mean, the popcorn's okay. The crackers are, ooh. Pretzels, I like pretzels, but I would never eat them like this. You want to use them for. Oh, the then I have a McDonald's for my tea. The double, yo, this girl literally too, bro. She'll always say that bullshit. What did she say at the beginning of this video? I almost never have a double quarter pounder. I never do it. And what do we see right now, dude? That double quarter pounder right in her mouth, dude. Hey, Feed your mouth. New. Damn, that shit big as fuck. Oh, is that a triple? I think she got the triple. Hat trick burger, which was very. Hold up, what she got? And I had a McDonald's for my tea. I tried the new hat trick burger. Which... Hat trick burger? Somebody let me know what a hat trick burger is in the comment section. I don't know what the fuck that is. It looks like a triple stack, though. Damn, look at the way she looking at that shit, dude. You see the way she gazing at it? Oh, man, her mouth watering. Which was very tasty. Damn. And they don't have the sour cream and chive dip anymore, so I was a little... Bro, that's a triple. Damn, that's a triple, bro. That's a triple stack. One, two, three. Damn, Becky. Look at the way she gazing at that shit, too. A bit gutted, but I had garlic mayo with my chips. But for some reason, it just isn't as nice as the kebab house from there. And I tried the Skittles McFlurry. Oh, she got a McFlurry too, bro. You know how many calories McFlurries are? How come you didn't show us the McFlurry? How big was the McFlurry? What was the serving size on that? Of a small, medium, or large? I just presume with with Becky, it's almost always going to be a large. Like, there's really no reason why it wouldn't be. And it wasn't very nice. <laughs> but anyway, I did a separate video. I, I don't think that the McFlurries are ever any good. They're literally just like... They're just giant quantities of sugar. If you want ice cream that just predominantly tastes like sugar, like all that's all it is, not actual ice cream, it's just sugar, go ahead and go down there and grab that Mick, Mick fucking, what is that shit called? The Mick, uh, that Grandma Mick Flurry shit, the, the Grandma Irma shit, whatever they got up right now. That shit is terrible, disgusting, it's just sugar. They, they, they really thought they did something, and they got the McDonald's workers behind the counter wearing the, the fucking the Grandma Irma suit, suits too, bro. Bragging about that shit. Like, oh, you want that? You want that Grandma Irma? You want that fucking McFlurry? And it's not good. Don't do it. But if you're Becky, I guess it's all right because Becky doesn't care about herself in general. Well, not. Then I played Cluedo, and I had some of the crispy M&Ms from the Snuckle Pop. Crispy M&Ms? Hi everyone, so I've treated my mum and dad tonight to a chippy tea, so I'm going to show you what I've got. First of all, prawn crackers. Now Why is she lying, dude? Why are you lying? Why are you saying this is for your mom and dad? You know this is for your mouth. Now, a lot of people got confused last time I did a chippy tea. Um, I don't call anything you can get from the chippy, I call chippy. Chinese is where you go and sit down and have a Chinese. This is just a chippy tea. I gotta keep it a buck, dude. You guys gotta stop calling this shit what it, like... Here in America, if somebody was going to get Chinese food, right? You know what we would say? We would say, hey, David, I'm going to go get some Chinese food. Do you want some Chinese food? I'm going to go get some Chinese food. In the UK, you guys will go, I got a Chinese. I got an Indian. I got a this. I got a that. I got a Mackey's. Why? If you guys are like the people that created the language, why is it so bad all the time? Is it because it's out of convenience? Like you guys are trying to make it less words or whatever? It just doesn't sound good. So when I hear somebody go, I got a Chinese, it to me sounds like you got a guy that was Chinese, right? Like a Chinese guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, I got, I got a Chinese. I got an Indian. I got a black. You know what I'm talking about? Like it's not, It for me, it just kind of comes out really weird. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Big as fuck. I don't know why people got so confused and like, that's not Chinese. And that's not- Bro, uh, yeah, listen, dude. M maybe it's weird. I know that here in America and most other places, 
uh, in the West, Chinese food is not exactly Chinese food. But then again, like, what is Chinese food now? Like, dudes sucking on rocks, eating fucking, you know, crickets and things like that. Look, I know that the, the CCP has really fucked up the Chinese community and things such and so forth. And don't get me wrong. I know that Chinese people, some Chinese people are eating well and things such and so forth. But it's every time I watch China videos, right, and all that fucking terrible, disgusting shit that comes out of that country um, from the government. And I see... All, like people sucking on rocks or eating crickets and things like that to get the nutrition and they can't say anything about it because their country is literally like fucking it will it will literally throw you in jail if you say something bad about it like that's one of the great things uh, thank god about being in america because if i was in china and i said xi jinping got a small meat i will be thrown in jail i will be literally going i'll be working in the camps for the rest of my life but here in america I can say Joe Biden got the smallest dick on the planet. His shit is not big as fuck. And I think that also Kamala Harris, I think her I think her her hair doesn't look the best. I think that silk press she got is terrible. That's what I'm I can say that and I don't get arrested. Do you see how great that is? But um I don't even know what we're talking about. Like Chinese westernized Chinese food is like really high in calorie and it's like really greased up. I understand. I've never in my life ever seen Chinese food with French fries. To me, I just I've never seen that. And maybe for you, it's like that's okay or that's like normalized for you. But here, nah, that's not normal. Chicken, that's Chinese as well. I was like, yeah. Um. Anyway, got some curry sauce and I love this. curry sauce, dude. Again, I don't know. I've never seen Chinese food sell curry. I've never seen that. Never seen it, dude. Little cartons that they come in. So I got a fruit curry and my mum got a fruit curry. I'm then she's we lying. Have got this is just for her. This one. Dude, these bags are big. Tony fish fry and Asmi Port. Absolute best chippy in Asmi Port. Oh, why wow, they wrap it so <laughs> deep? <laughs> um, portion of chips. I, 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 dude. They don't sell these at Chinese food restaurants here. I, I, this is such an anomaly for me. They're so big, bro. This is a serving of chips? This is a serving of french fries? Are you sure this isn't like three servings of french fries? All right, Becky. No, All no, right. No. I'm, I mean, I'm not surprised. I love a chippy tea. And by the way, like you dip in your hand and somebody... This is not just for you, right? Couldn't you like spread it out before you started biting into that shit? Um... Um, I forgot what I was saying now on the last bit. So yeah, man, she got fucking flabbergasted when she saw those fries, dude. She lost her train of thought. She was like, yes, guys, and like I was saying, oh, my God, those French fries are crazy. What was I saying? I was ringing, sorry, I answered it. Um, my dad got a pie, meat and pie. Dinner. Why are you showing me his food? I don't care what your dad got. This is why I think Becky is munching this shit. There's no way you're going to put your greasy up fingers them big ass sausage fingers all over my food nah dude this is for her come on dude look i love becky i really do becky's a beautiful human being but why are you lying now with gravy and mushy peas that looks lovely mushy peas you pre-mush the peas and then i got oh my mum got a battered sausage which i put on the plate and i got some chicken fried rice as well and um, i'm so excited to talk in so i'm gonna dish it all out now. How does she have the money for this? This has got to be like a $70 purchase. And then show it you at Okay, so I did say I was going to show you at the end, but I thought I might as well show Damn, you that's a lot show. of rice. So I'm going to put my chicken fried rice on here. Okay, that's enough. I feel like I've not You're good. Fried rice in ages. You're good. You're good, Becky. It, You're good. Wow. You're good. Becky. Well. Oh my go. god. Got so much in there. That's it. And then I'm gonna have a few chips as well. What do you mean? You don't need. Why is it all carbs? And my curry sauce. So I will show you when I've dish it out. So here we go. I'm just gonna put. Oh my... damn! Damn, that's a lot. That's a lot. Curry on. Oh Ooh. damn, dude! The whole thing. And then look at these prawn crackers. I'm gonna put them in there. Yeah. Oh. So there we go. There is my tea. There is my curry. And I've got some leftover as well. Becky. I can't wait to tuck in. Prawn cracker. Chips and some fried rice. Mm. It's just sad, man. All right, guys. That's the end of the video here. I just can't sometimes. When I look at Becky, I just think, oh, she's such a beautiful specimen of human being. She has so much personality. She's so... You know, she's so much herself. I really love that about people when they're just, like, emanating themselves so much. And when I see Becky doing 
what she does so frequently as much as she does it just it just hurts me because it's not sustainable for the future but i know she loves it i know she loves the takeout and she doesn't really have people in her life that tell her anything obviously because she's saying like you know you're not don't judge me like it's not your place to judge me which doesn't even make any sense because I, I, that's literally the definition of judging is that you can do it without somebody telling you to so it's like whatever the fuck you say becky but it doesn't matter you know you but you're a beautiful person thank you so much for watching today's video i appreciate you tremendously if you watch the video in its entirety and or uh you're here right now i would appreciate if everybody could leave a like comment subscribe sharing the video all those things help me grow on the algorithm thank you anybody that subscribes already or anybody that is a member of the channel thank you so much you guys are amazing if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now leave it down below by typing in bubbles bubbles um then i'll know that you're a beautiful amazing spectacular person and you are obviously a beautiful, amazing, spectacular person. Damn, those bubbles last a long time. I got that at a gay pride parade. They were so nice to me. They gave me the bubbles, even though I'm a heterosexual man. But I'm a super heterosexual man, by the way. I know a lot of people think that I'm gay, but I'm not. I'm not gay. I would never be gay. Check my Instagram. If you, if you, think, that I'm, if you think I'm gay, check my Instagram. Then you'll realize that I'm not gay because I hashtag my stuff not gay. But anyway, um, you guys are all beautiful people. I appreciate you spending time with me today. You're amazing. You're fantastic. Uh, what's what? What should our song be? What should our what should our song be? Our song together. Um, I was thinking probably zombie love song you know that one by ray william johnson i think that is our song because we deserve a song together we we bonded together we have that communication by the way we do live streams on the channel at around 6 p.m not every day but i'm probably live right now you could check that 6 p.m est um by the way you smell amazing today your pheromones are leaking through my screen and they smell so good i love them and i love you anyway guys um we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, my Twitter, my Discord. It'll all be linked down below in the description of this video and the description of my channel. All you have to do is click the About section. You'll see it. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.